last time I was talking about a fruit bowl and how important they are in terms of energizing your day. This is the most recent one I made today. And I got chia seeds in there properly, properly soaked. Let's take a look at that. Uh, this is properly soaked chia seed. This is how they're supposed to look. I got a little cocoa powder on, on there, right? So I got some pistachios and blueberries along with some dates. And this is soaked for about an hour and a half. And it's all in the right, the right consistency. That's awesome. So now let's talk about living food, food that is alive. Let's talk about a practice that I have uh, tried to approach, which is to eat fruit during lunch some days of the week. Not every day, but I'd say two or three days during a five day work week, I eat fruit for lunch and um, on this particular day, it's uh, three oranges. And so this video is about living fruit. Living fruit, which is a subset of living food. The best food to consume is food that is alive, that still has real life and vibrancy in it, right? Because that is the food that comes right from nature and the food that has the most active vital life force in it. And so I found that when I consume living food during the day, I obtain the most energy. And I will have another discussion about living food in a broader context, but I found that fruit, especially fruits that you can carry in your hand, like oranges in this case, right? Oranges are easy to transport, and so I find that I get full off of three oranges. And if it's those larger oranges, right, then that suffices as a meal. So these are three large Texas oranges, Texas, United States. And they do the job remarkably well. They have the fibers in them. They have the juices in them. And what the fibers that's bound with the juices will do is slow the absorption of fructose, a, a slow the absorption of the sugars, right? So that's why whole fruit works so well as part of a overall rejuvenation and energy vitalization process. And then once that fruit starts to kick in about an hour, hour and a half later, that's additional energy that you can see in real time. Some foods take so long to digest that you don't see the energy from it until another day. Speaking of another day, this is um, a day that I'm doing three grapefruits. Now, for the last eight months, right, a span of about eight months, the majority of fruit that I've consumed has been grapefruits. But I've diversified out here a little bit. And so um, I was doing oranges previously, but here I also had some grapefruits, some pretty large grapefruits, and they gave me vitality as well. And then coconut water, right, is a form of a type of fruit juice in a way. And then I'm adding cocoa powder to it, which really ramps up the flavor. And I use a milk frother because in some of my earlier videos, you saw me do that, my little shaking technique. And that's, that's valid, but this particular coconut water was chilled right, right out of the store. It was already chilled, and that type of temperature doesn't um, you know, make itself um, so well to shake up cocoa powder and get that nice consistency. So a milk frother gets the job done. And then I like to take a, what we call a swig of uh, coconut water in my mouth and then some pistachios, right? I take the pistachios in first and then a nice little swig of uh, um, coconut water and then I slosh it around and I, I consume it. 
because one of the things I try to do most of the time is when I have a dry constituent like this, like these pistachios, with all the benefits that they uh, provide, they actually digest and go down the system better with a little liquid. Same with these dates. Now, I do prefer the dates that have the pits in them, but some days I alternate to the ones that are pitted because they are a little easier to actually grab hold of in terms of chewing. And then I like to slosh around some coconut water, hold it in there for a minute because I find that that actually really does work. It has a very um, uh, energizing effect for the dates and it also brings out the flavor of the dates a lot more than just eating the dates along. Also, you might find that little uh, sugary uh, aspect of dates to be a little bit overpowering at times. And I find that when you combine in that coconut water, it actually uh, spreads out that sugary impact to such an extent that the dates actually chew a lot better and you can consume it a lot better. And so I might do five to seven dates like this and it's one of the best combinations in the universe, right? So this is what living food is about. The food that, in this case, fruits like medjool dates and you have your grapefruits, you have your oranges, right? All of this is easily transportable and easily doable in terms of being able to have fruit on the go that gives you energy throughout the day. And then, you know, you, you balance it out with nuts and seeds. In this case, you know, pistachios with all the benefits that they impart. And I find that between the pistachios, the dates, and the fruits, I have a good alternative to going out to eat and going to restaurants where you don't always uh, get what you are expecting in terms of quality or in terms of service. This is something that you can get yourself serve yourself and have all the energy and vitality needed to get through the day. Thank you for watching and I will catch you later.